wanted to go back to your remarks on Jordan Neely's killing. I know you focused a lot on his mental health challenges and some of the services, but it was ultimately a chokehold that killed him, a chokehold from another strap hanger. Mm -hmm. Do you think Daniel Penny, who I know you didn't mention in yesterday's speech, you didn't mention how he died or, or whose hands he died as, as the cause of, do you think that that was an appropriate reaction from a fellow strap hanger to someone who didn't seem to have a weapon um, to someone who's experiencing a mental health crisis on a subway car? You know, I think it's important not to interfere as the mayor of the city in those parts that the police department has yet to take their action. The police respond to me. And I don't want, if this case goes to trial or anywhere further, I don't want someone to talk about changing venues, uh, that the police, the, the mayor uh, tainted when he was, the police falls under one of his agencies. I dealt with the things that are within my span of control that I've been advocating for, for from the day one that I got in office. And the DA will make the determination on how to handle this case. And I respect that. I respect uh, DA Bragg's, uh, his job and what he has to do. I need to prevent. And let's be clear, let's be honest. There are more Jordans out there. I said this over and over again. I see them. I talk to them. I interact with them. And so we need to make sure we prevent these things from happening. That is within my span of control. Mr. Mayor, one more. <laughs> we, we, we <laughs> <wouldn't know me. laughs> uh, the police department's old patrol guide bans the use of chokeholds. Is a chokehold ever appropriate? Where if the police department bans it, then we need to, the police officers must follow that rule. Uh, so I cannot... Uh, be hypothetical on when it's appropriate or not. Uh, I know it's banned in the police department, and the police department follows that rule. Thank you, Mr. Mayor.